Hi, my dear subscribers and viewers. So this is Katie from the Vents, as I always say, and today we are celebrating Nigeria. And I decided to join them in celebrating, or join my people for, because I'm in Nigeria, in celebrating Nigeria's independence by making this lovely Ankara headpiece. Can you see it? It looks so lovely, even if I think I would call it Ankara Hollow Crown. Yes, that should be the name. Or what do you think? All right, so I decided to join my people in celebrating by singing, by wearing this clothes. Does this look like Epic? Did I do Epic really good? You know, we have a lot of, we have lots and lots of tribes in Nigeria, and this is the Epic attire. I decided to use Ankara, yes, because most times they use bride or I decided to use Ankara so I would make an Ankara headpiece. So I would like to sing our national anthem. Allies, O compatriots, Nigeria's call obey to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. Thy labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain to serve with heart and might one nation bound in freedom peace and unity this is my heartfelt prayer for nigeria so let's get straight into the DIY. So to make the Ankara Hollow Crown, we'll be needing that bronze hat wire, then your cutter. That's my favorite cutter. Then I brought out some other small cutters to show you. Then this is the nose plier that I'll be making use of. That's another cutter. I just brought out all the cutters that I had, pliers, all that. Then scissors. Then this nose um, plier. No, that's not the nose plier, the flat plier. And then these are pieces of the material that was left from the Effica tire you just saw. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to make yet, so I just gathered all the pieces left. I knew I was going to use that leaf part anyway, so you'll see how we get to do it. Then this material, the bridal satin, I brought that out. I brought a lot of things actually, elastic band that's 7 inches. Then this is my Alice band, the smallest Alice band. Then Uhu gum, measurement tape, pad, the thickest pad, the one like cotton. When you call it interface, you know, I think they call it patchwork online. Then my candle and the matches, then the holder, mm -hmm. then I have all these trimmings. That's bias, first of all. Then trimmings, you know, I was creating, so I wasn't so sure initially what I would use, so I brought out all these. So we'll finally see which one I got to. So the first thing you do is take your 7 inch elastic band and sew it to your Alice band. So you're going to be, you know the Alice band comes with um, a material wrapped around. I don't use just the one with rod when I, as in rod alone when I want to do this. I make use of the one that already has a material attached to it. If you can't get that one, you can actually wrap it with material. So it's that material you're going to be sewing your elastic band to. Now the reason why I sew elastic band to the Alice band is so that it holds firmly on the head. That's the hollow crown. So you can dance and do whatever you want to do. The hollow crown doesn't fall. So anytime you're making a hollow crown or you're making um, an Alice band that would, um, a headpiece that would carry something on the Alice band, the best is to put an elastic band on the downside to hold it firmly on the head. So let's keep watching. And then okay so this is the first method you could use first of all you take your um, pad 
and spread your ugu gum. Now you want to make sure that you spread the gum very well. I had a slight issue with this because the gum didn't touch all areas. So when I was cutting the pieces out, some were coming out. So I will show you two methods that I discovered while making it. I think the second one works perfectly well for me. So but you never can tell. This could work for you. So I placed the bridal satin. This I finally changed. You would see that in the next clip on what I did. So I placed it on top. Now the size of this pad is the same size of the leaf, the pattern of leaf that I want to cut out. So that is what made me choose that, the width, so that I'll be able to cut out the pattern. And why I'm doing it like this is so that the pattern will be strong to stand as a hollow crown on its own with rod, as you would see, the hat wire wrapper. So keep watching and learning. So once that's done, the next thing you do is to cut out your pattern. So that's the way I cut out my pattern. You have to be careful to follow the line well so you don't cut the leaf or whatever pattern it is you want to cut out from your Ankara. So really, talking about that, it means that the Ankara you have to buy has to have a pattern. If it doesn't have a pattern, then you won't be able to use it to make a uh, to make something like this actually it's best for it to have a pattern or if it doesn't have a pattern it means what we we'll have to do you have to create a pattern place it on top of the Ankara and cut out the pattern from it yes that could be another op option you know creativity is the watchword in millinery all right so keep watching and learning But before we look at the second option I discovered, let's find out who won the game put up on my video on how to make the Isi Cholo or Zulu hat. I asked what national day is coming up in Nigeria and Rebecca Udensi won to attend Brush Class 1 in the Vendcraft Academy for free. To get such freebies, you need to stay till the very end of my videos then you will get such opportunities. So you would want to stay to the very end of this video because surely there is something and today there is something for everyone. So Rebecca, please do contact me in my WhatsApp number that is in the description of this video to pick up your gift. Okay, so the second option, you cut out your more than your pattern, hmm, bigger than your pattern and use it to cut Another part of the Ankara, yeah, I discovered instead of using the bridal satin, I could use, since I had more Ankara, the part that didn't have the pattern. So you place your Uru gum on the back of the one that has the pattern. You spread it all around very well. Okay. Once you're done with that, you turn it and place it on the interface and pad, word in patchwork, whatever you call it, and cut it out like so okay then you turn it the other way and put ugu gum on the pad and then place that other one on top okay so now you can now cut out your pattern now this comes out perfectly well So the next step in making your Ankara halo crown is to cut out your bronze hat wire 6 inches. So they're all 6 inches. So what I'm going to do is 
I've done some already so let me show you what I did is to take my nose plier and twist it around the Alice band you take it round twice or three times when you take it only once it doesn't stand firm but I noticed when I take it two three times my rod or the hat wire would stand firm on the Alice band so you want to do that two to three times then you cut off the excess so I'm going to be putting um, quite a number there. I think I finally put nine. So I actually thought I would put more than that, but I started putting them. I didn't finish using all the hat wire that I cut out. So just keep watching and learning. Okay, so the next thing you do is to take the patterns that you have cut out and you're going to go on the edges. You know the Ankara Freeways, it brings out thread from it and you don't want that happening to your patterns. So you're going to be burning all the patterns like so. Yeah, and our halo crown is taking shape. So before we go forward, you don't want to miss any of my DIY. So click the subscribe button and the bell for notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Take a break, click the subscribe button. Alright, so let's get back to today's DIY. So the next step in our Ankara Halo Crown is to take the pattern that you have cut. We're going to be you first of all place it and bend the hat wire in the shape of the leaf or your pattern. Then you place your ohu gum on it, and then take your pattern and place on top of the hat wire. So that's what I did. Keep watching and learning. So you're going to do it to all the hat wires you have placed. Okay, so the next step is to place the next layer of your pattern on top. I probably would have gone higher, I'm not so sure, but my leaves could only take one more step. So I'm placing it there. I removed the stones. I attached stones initially behind, but I discovered that I first of all have to place all of them before I now start adding the stones at the back of the patterns. So this is how I add the second layer. Keep watching and learn. Okay, also to take note that I'm working on updating all my YouTube videos, the ones that have DIYs on links on where you can purchase the materials that you need to work on the DIYs. So it will be in the description below each video. So do take note of that as well.
So the next step in making our halo Ankara, Ankara halo crown is to take a piece of um, material, the same Ankara material, 1.5 inches and fold it like you're making a bias. And then you're going to be using your ubu gum to wrap from where you um, sewed your elastic band on the Alice band. You wrap it all the way round the Ankara halo crown. So I, it seems like I didn't video when I put stones behind, but what I use to cover the hat wire that is showing on the leaves is those stone trimmings. I covered it all the way on all of them. Okay, so you just watch and see how I wrap the Ankara halo crown. And another thing that I discovered is it might be a good idea to wrap the hat wire first of all with the Ankara. That's the hat wire where you put the pattern. Wrap it first of all with um, Ankara before you start placing your patterns on top so that no one gets to see the hat wire at all. It's completely covered. Okay, so keep watching and learning. So what do you think? Where can you wear this Ankara? Hello crown too. I'm thinking of birthday party. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section where you would wear this Ankara Hello crown. So I did this all the way around. Yes. So that is how you make your Ankara Halo crown and it comes up looking lovely like this. This is the epic way here. So if you gained value from this video, please do give me a thumbs up. I'd like to hear from you on what you have to say concerning the DIY of today in the comment section below. And keep waiting for it. I would soon give you the gift for staying to the very end. It's October 1st, Independence Day of Nigeria, and this is my gift to everyone who has stayed till the very end of this video. Okay, thank you so much once more for staying with me to the very end of my DIY on the Ankara Halo Crown to celebrate Nigeria's Independence Day. Okay, so for staying with me to the very end, you would want to head over to the Vent Craft Academy. The link is in the recept in the description of this um, video. Yes, it's the Vent Craft Academy reception, and there is a freebie for everyone, and it's for only today. There's um a prize you'll be paying for this far less than any of the prizes that you see. I won't say it here, so just head over to the Vencraft Academy Training Reception and collect your gift offer last till 11.55, 59pm today. So till we see you again in my next video is goodbye and God bless.